Hi there. Today, we'll be working on some additional concepts of Tableau. As before, we'll be using the Superstore dataset. Let's get started. In Tableau, when we have a number of parameters that are in a hierarchy, that is one comes under the other and then another value comes under the previous one, and they all represent one particular group of values, we would refer to it as hierarchy. Like here, we have country, state, and city. All of these are in a hierarchy. A city comes under a state, a state comes under a country. So we can easily tell Tableau that this is our hierarchy by creating one on our own. To do this, first locate country, click on the drop down arrow, go to hierarchy, create hierarchy, location, okay. Now we have country here. Now we can drag and drop it, but make sure that your hierarchy is in order. So I would first drag and drop state under country, not above. I'll do the same with city. And now I have a hierarchy. So if I put country in my rows column, I can simply click on plus to obtain state minus to remove state. Similarly, I can click on plus in state to obtain city. In Tableau, we'll sometimes need to work with date. Here, we have order date. Let's drag it to rows to see how it works. You'll see it immediately took the year component of dates. You can change the same over here. So you have to select based on the preview given here. If you select from this bunch, you'll see only the year or only the quarter, only the month or only the day, etc. However, here, it would they would show you an inclusive. So if you select day, the entire date, month, and year would be shown in such a case. Similar to uh, hierarchy, if you click plus on year, you would be able to, if you click plus on year, you would be able to obtain quarter and so on. In Tableau, you're given the option of groups. So first I've plotted this chart to understand which cities have the maximum sales. Now I'm going to create a group of these cities. First I'll select Los Angeles, right click, group. I have a group. Now I'll repeat this for San Diego, Seattle and others, uh, Seattle and San Francisco. Now we have a group of these and in our graph they're all bundled together. But how can I use this now? I'll create another sheet, drag and drop city group. The value that I want to see, let's say the sum of sales and I'll convert this into a pie chart. Entire view. Let's give some labels. Now, you'll see that all the other cities have been grouped in other while the cities that I wanted to focus on are visible here. If we had created a simple pie chart with city, this might have been tougher to execute. See, all these little slices do not give us a good view of what's happening in our sales. But over here, since we created a group and highlighted only the city with most sales, we are able to get better understanding from our visualization. However, you need to be careful about one thing. If you press Control, click Denver, Fresno, and Phoenix, you have selected all three together. Now right click and click on Group. This time around, let's look at the visualization. Denver, Fresno, and Phoenix are created as one slice, not three different slices. So you need to be careful how you are grouping them together or one by one. Tableau also offers us the option of using sets in our data visualizations. So in case of sets, let's click on control and keep it clicked. Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and San Diego. Right click, create set, cities. Now I do not want the city group to be here, so I'll click on this arrow and OK. I have a set of cities. Let's go to the new sheet, drag and drop it here. What is Tableau doing? It's saying in or out cities. Let's put in sum of sales over here. So right now, Tableau is showing you the sum of sales of all the cities that are in the set and sum of sales of all the cities that are not in the set. Let's show you how that works. I would drag and drop city over here. So you can see how it's going, working right now. Now, there's also one more op option. Click on the drag and drop arrow, 
and click show members in set. This way you are able to see only the members present in the set that you select, which can be easily transformed into a pie chart. You have to go to the drag, drag, drop down arrow once again and click show members in set and entire view for it to increase a little. So that's another way of bringing data points together and using it in our visualizations. You would notice that whether I select all the members together or one by one did not have an impact on sets. In Tableau, stories do provide you an option of going page by page with each of your visualization. However, for that purpose, you have to create a number of visualizations that you can add into the story. A similar feature is pages, which can only be used in the worksheet and can be found over here. Let's see a practical example of it to make you understand it better. Now, in this table, I have a number of segments. My purpose is that I want to see which city makes the maximum sales in each segment. So, first of all, let's go to city and the sum of sales for each city. And let's transform this into a bubble chart. Now, we want it page by page for each segment. This is the overall one. So I'm going to drag and drop segment onto the pages card. Now you can use these arrows to toggle between the different segments and understand which cities have the maximum sales in which segment. Furthermore, you can use this drop down arrow to select and jump to a specific page. Also, you can click on this button to play it as an animation. The buttons over here are the speed of the animation, which is slow, normal, or fast, depending on your requirements during pres while presenting these pages. At last, if you're working on a visualization and you're stuck somewhere and want to see the underlying data or the table that has been created by the said visualization, you have one option of going over here and converting this into a table, but then it would be a hassle of converting between the two graphs over and over again. So Tableau gives you a very easy shortcut. All you have to do is go on Worksheet and find Duplicate as Crosstab. A new sheet with the same name is opened and it shows the data that's lying underneath. Right now we have grouped it, grouped and created sets on that particular sheet, so it is viewing that as well. That was all from our side. Thank you for watching Crack Concepts. If this video was helpful for you, please consider subscribing.